So I nominated my dad and my mom for this award um, because it really is truly the American dream. It's um, my dad coming over from Trinidad when he was 18 years old, not a penny in his pocket, uh, not knowing what to do. I tried a million things before I started with the Chili Bowl. Dad was the business side. Dad just had the business mind. His, his parents were, were business people back in Trinidad. Mom had the other side of it. She was the heart and soul, the personality, the warmth, the love of the Chili Bowl. And it really took both of them um, together uh, to really make this place go. And you know, they were here for the first 30 years. You know, didn't take a vacation for the first 10 years. At the end of the day, it's the customers that have made Ben's uh, successful. It's people passing the word on, you know, kind of spreading that love. My husband and I opened Ben's Chili Bowl on August 22nd, 1958. This was a segregated community. We were not able to go to restaurants downtown during that time. The riots of 1968, when Dr. Martin Luther King was assassinated, had a devastating effect on the neighborhood. We were, however, spared. We stayed open. Imagine starting with nothing, and now it's a landmark. The thing I love most about being in the restaurant business is the people. You meet people from all walks of life. You meet people from all over the world. You meet celebrities. The restaurant business, it's a place to do that.